Hello, I have to say it's your own Sage channel, and I am gonna go ahead and play through Soma. If you don't know, Soma is a game, judging by the little teasers they put out some time ago that got me really excited for it, a game about human minds being copied into machines, and the machines not realizing they are a copy, and in fact their perception of the world is even altered and skewed to the point where they don't actually see themselves as machines. It's very, very odd and interesting, and probably scary. This is made by Frictional Games. Did I say Scaria? Whatever. Scaria's a new thing. Anyway, this is made by Frictional Games. They made um, Amnesia, Amnesia Dark Descent, you know, um, Penumbra, and Am Amnesia uh, a Machine for Piggies. Um, and, uh, yeah, I didn't really play through all those. I'm a big fan of, you know, sci-fi and stuff and uh, fantasy, but those games, horror, hardcore horror, I got about five minutes into uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent and chickened myself out. I got my subtitles on, I got my audio separate, so if I need to turn myself down or up or whatever, we're good to go. Uh, let's just click new game. I have not done this at all before. Got my settings on max. We're not playing at 4K because, well, even though the game doesn't require too much, I figured since it's a horror game, or at least a creepy game, we need audio quality that Shadowplay will not deliver, so we're playing at 1080p so we can use fraps. Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. <laughs> Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Hmm. Christ. So, hmm. Uh, off its main directed with left click? Got ya? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Alrighty. <laughs> so I'm guessing he keeps reliving his car accident. Uh, yeah, WA, some big keys to move. Wow, well, it's like in the other game. Oh, click and drag, just like uh, like a number fast of food. all those good things. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Well, it's not all fast food. Where did I, I put the tracer fluid? You got, like, this stuff here, the pan piece of nonsense. Uh, you got pasta. That's not too bad, really. It's not all fast food. I mean, it's easy cooking like this stuff here, but it's not too bad. Uh, same with this. By the way, I'm assuming he's not really at his apartment. I'm assuming this is just a flashback or something silly. Uh, and also, like I said, oh, there's the fast food he's talking about. Derpa, did you Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Ooh. Where are you? Ooh. Sorry. I'm assuming... Can I actually do this? Oh, sweet. How cool is that? I'm just seeing you know, all I can mess with. How expansive this world is. Um, no, we're not going to click on that yet, even though I assume it won't. Oh, hello. To Simon Jarrett. Da -da 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 -da. I can't flip it over. Oh, there we go. I can left right. Uh, we left click to right click to. I can't really open these, I guess. Okay. Uh, what about keys? Aha, I got keys. That might let me go out the door. Um, I'm Like I said, though, I'm assuming he got in a car crash with his girlfriend or whoever that was, and he keeps having flashbacks of it. Um, but it's being tweaked because I'm assuming when she said it's green, I laughed because I thought it was the vial, and I thought they were hinting at the idea that already his mind is tweaking the existence, so he's seeing it as red when it's actually green, but she was probably talking about the blood running out of his head. And he knows he's got brain damage, that's why in his dream he keeps uh, thinking about it. But I'm assuming at this point he's already a machine. I'm assuming. And that's really why it's green, and it's his subconscious trying to tell him. <laughs> Let's see, how, ex how, how amazing is this? Can I click on that button? That would've been something else. <laughs> that would've been something else. Aha! Sunglasses. Just what the doctor ordered. What is this? A knife? Uh, 
pencil or pen. I love the fact that it's letting me touch so many little things. What are you? Are you a... What are you? Oh, nail clippers. Got you. Let's just keep exploring. Oh, wow. Hooked. All right. Um, uh, Mark and Deanna Miller has finally... Shouldn't it be have finally cut a break? Anyway, has finally cut a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take... The family on that vacation to Hawaii that they've been talking about. Or tall king. That's <laughs> eh, not fun. Uh, for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach on the first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin stingers stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. Just like their son got pulled into the water. It's interesting that it's like um, fishing hooks wrapped around, but I assume this is also, again, view using... View using... T oh, wow, it actually... Like, if it's hard to read, you can left-click again and it'll give you this. That is pretty damn awesome. Okay, well, let's put that down. Uh, what is this? Is this a recorder or a lighter? I think it's a lighter. The size of all this is just a bit off, isn't it? It's, like, just a bit wrong. <laughs> hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just... Shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. Mean It. End of message. I swear, that guy Oops. has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? <laughs> didn't I? As I'm unsure. Well done. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a rotate button. I really like to rotate this. It almost looks alien. Um, oh, God, no. Turn that back on. The, uh, what is it? That book, though, was probably about, you know, your mind getting hooked, I'm assuming. I'm assuming these are all subconscious things. The book talking about, you know, grabbing your mind and pulling it in. Interesting. I wonder if it's even the vacation bit about that was some sort of, uh... Maybe analogy about the idea that originally this technology, whatever it is, was supposed to be, you know, like a vacation. Like, you could escape your mundane world. And it's gotten terribly wrong now. By the way, I believe I can right-click the throw. Yep, and that didn't break, which I'm kind of happy about. Hey, air particles. What else do we got here? We got a camera? Ruby? We got... Okay, what's on the back? Nada. Not a single ding. Interesting. A cup... What a strange picture to have. Is there something secret here? Like, uh, the, the little cream that you put in there. Maybe the icon on that has something to do with it. You got the hearing stuff, the earbuds. Uh, reflection in whatever that is in the top, the metal thing doesn't exactly look odd uh leaves and stuff on the plates almost like a raw shack painting with butterflies uh what do we got here ah insect again so maybe that is something let's see so we got bug thing at the top on the right side there on the plate what do we got anything insect like here uh we got the sort of icons at the buildings at the top right <laughs> i'm rotating it like i should be able to see around the corners of those buildings Okay, um, let's not do the computer yet. We got our little action figure dude. No, don't fall over. I wish there was a way to rotate this stuff. Middle mouse? Middle mouse just brings it closer and farther away. Uh, what do we got here? Aha! And let's left click the C text. Left click the C. Okay, it's not working on this one. Uh, da -da, October something. Yeah. Oh. Ha! Oh, I fight! Oh. Sun to your back, huh? Oh, that's... <laughs> Those pages are thicker here. <laughs> Look at that. That's a bit of a foo pie. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't expect people to be staring at it for so long. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Oh, his mom's still in the world. That's nice. Uh, of course, he has some brain damage from the car accident, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's funny that in the beginning there, the whole... There's never enough time, because I'm assuming Easy goes to that dream quite a bit. There's never enough time to be with her. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Pace lab. Yep. 
This is like, I'm assuming. Yeah. This is like his prescription or something. Yep. Oh, what else do we got here? There's a lot of amazing little things to interact with. It's reminding me a lot of, um, Cradle, if you've played that game. It's a fantastic game, but there's like, story everywhere. Like, if you just play that game without reading anything, you're gonna be completely lost, I think. But that game has tons and tons of stuff scattered everywhere. That you can just read through. What are we seeing? Is there anything similar to these pictures? They're all at the beach, aren't they? Except for maybe this one. That could be on the way to the beach. That could be like a train car or inside a shop. Looks like some Photoshop faces. <laughs> oh, probably the whole thing's faced. Faced? Photoshopped. And they were at this place. Oh, so, uh, meet and greet book signing. So is maybe her book? Who's, who's the book signing person? Robin McConnelly, or McConnell. Robin. That could possibly be a woman's name. Uh, it doesn't really, does that look like the woman from the beginning? I think she had glasses on, didn't she? So maybe that is the signing. Oh, oh, oh. Summer's coming. Oh. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> where do we, where does our character live? Oh, oh, oh no, I've stuck it. Uh, again with that place. He's a big fan of that place. When I first opened these, I thought it was like the sign of the store, like right across the street. Jesus. Huh. Those are some pretty damn tall apartment complexes. Uh, downtown accident kills young woman, so this is probably when she died. Uh, let's just start at the top, shall we? Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street. I thought it said Blood Street for a second. And Sp Spadina Road. These are some strange names. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. <laughs> oh, I, you can slap that woman. Um, practically unavoidable. Okay, there's like an accident because you weren't paying attention, but it's not practically unavoidable if you, I don't know, paid attention to driving or pulled the car over and scolded your children. I don't know. That annoys me a bit. Uh, let's see his name. It's funny, though. This uh, at the bottom there, you know, uh, claims it was... Yeah. There's a few words missing, and this thing, the text that overlays has them. So that can be useful for finding out stuff that's hidden. Uh, we can't get the text here, so it's not relevant, I guess. <laughs> SSDs off 50%. Is that... It's a weird way of phrasing 50% off SSDs, it seems. Maybe that's not all there is. I can't left-click, by the way. Okay, so let's put that down. Um, <gasps> the coffee mug thing. Oh, wait, no, this isn't a coffee book thing. This is a uh, camera thing. It's strange that he's like a, you know, he's got this big, hefty camera, DSLR camera, and he's only got a few pictures, and they all seem to be pretty random. Odd. Let's go ahead and put the lens with it, too. I wonder if this is going to lead to something like, this is your way of seeing the world in the camera. A uh, pencil bag. Wow. That's disgusting. Um... <laughs> it went in the trash can. The universe listened to me. Cinema Verity. The ultimate movie magazine. Summer blockbuster. Japanation. <laughs> Japanimation. Bigger than ever. <laughs> uh, What's well, a bottle movie? I don't know. What is a bottle movie? You don't give me a page number. You just say on the inside. Massive recoil. Flawless execution 2. That's spoofing something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but that's spoofing something. I think it's um, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Yeah, it's Modern Warfare, isn't it? <laughs> with, the, with the glowy text, you know, with the beams shooting out left and right. Uh, that's funny. Wow, it actually gives me text on this? 
it's in theaters, it's not even a game, huh? Some blood bells here. Yep, yep, yep. Stunts versus CGI. Yeah. Okay. I keep thinking every time I right click one of those to put it down and it disappears, I keep thinking it's going to go into um like my inventory or something. Do I get an achievement for doing this for cleaning up? I feel like I need to clean up. I know, I know. Wow, such an action-packed game, but I don't know, I love slow burners. There we are. Let's move our chair. Excuse me, chair. Anything back here? That's very similar to the chair I'm using right now, except for it's missing the gigantic pillow covered in blood. Okay, let's see. Mapping Minds. Albert Isaacson. Interesting last name. Uh, widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it can affect our behavior in different stages of our lives. So I guess it's not just how the brain affects our behavior, because that would be pretty funny, but how uh, it's developed can affect our behavior. Okay, let's put it down. Uh, I heard like a disc popping out or trying to read sound. None of this is interactive. Is this supposed to be like a super duper Xbox? Massive recoil. Oh, this is the first one. And this looks like a spoof of, um, uh, not Total Recall. What's that movie with John McClane? How can I not remember that? It's definitely a spoof of that, isn't it? Die Hard. That's what I'm thinking of. John Hughes, a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. On the day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner, who's kept prisoner by Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Okay, yeah, okay. Maybe it's not so much a spoof as what I thought it, of what I thought it was. Um, something else. I already looked in here, didn't I? I can't click on this. Uh, Nitro... France? Ferns. F-R-R-N-C-E? Ferns? Uh... <laughs> the Bing noise tool? He's got some nice photos up here. I, this looks like things to come. Again, it's like that almost alien statue in that makes me a bit odd. I was under the impression none of this game involved aliens. Uh, maybe it's just cool looking stuff. That could be it. It's a very tall glass. Or is it the same height as these other ones? Nope, it's a very tall glass. Don't fall out. Don't bug me if you fall out. Good. By the way, I already checked the... Um, what do you call it? Did I check all these? I think so. I already checked... You were in the door earlier. Why? Bad food. Bad. This is where I expected the, the stuff you needed to drink to be. I still haven't checked this bathroom. That's probably where it is. Uh... Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. I forgot my own character's name. To or do. Let's see, it, says, it used to say something else there. Tomorrow, probably. It probably used to say tomorrow, but it looks like to or do now. Yep, yep, yep. Jesse, is that my character's name? I can't remember my own character's name. Oh, I can't remember the woman who died either. What's that woman who died's name? Ashley Hall died, so maybe my character is Jesse. Then who's writing that? Remember, Jesse, do these things. Shift works. Remind Jesse. So that seems like a third person thing. So maybe it's his mother? But this is a one room apartment. There's no way his mother's living with him. Um, let's go ahead and check the shower curtain. Nope, no monsters in here. And uh, there's no glass here, so we couldn't have had a shower curtain reveal with a medicine cabinet anyway. Little water sound, let's see. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Okay, maybe you should have timed it. Oh, you got brain damage. You're not exactly going to be in the best mood for showering to make sure you're ready to go to the doctor. You know, it's brain scans. They're not looking at your whole body or nothing, probably. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm pulling it down. It's not working. It's like you have to pull it left or right. And whoosh. Aha! Piping! 
Wait. Aha! Lights! I love the fact that that works. Interesting that it controls both lights in here. Um, I guess it's rooms below. Oh. <laughs> wow, this thing's finicky. Okay, whatever. Um, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Um, okay. Let's do this. I'm assuming something's gonna happen. There it is. Crowd, press Bubba when item is displayed on the screen. Hum, 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 hum. Don't drop it. Don't you dare drop it. Feels like milk, but the taste mm. it's like sucking on a penny. Mmm, fantastic. Now I nobody knows if we're home or not. Okay, let's do this. Probably should have done this before I drank that. <laughs> Just in case something did go wrong. Nothing in his recycle bin. Curses. Uh Z <laughs> it's like a Photoshop icon almost. Oh my god. I uh, actually pressed the Windows key trying to get that thing to open up. <laughs> and I'll tab myself. Uh neurology session. Okay, thank you for again participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit <laughs> unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you with confirmation. Sincerely, David Munshi. That's a doctor. Odd that they're guests at the place. If they're doing something research stuff, you'd almost expect them to be uh, more permanent residents at the laboratories. I guess maybe it's just a laboratory they rent out and they're always called guests. That doesn't quite make sense. I almost expect them to be at a college doing research. Uh, dear Mr. Janet. Jarrett. Jesus. So I guess that's my, just been my character's last name. Uh, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since, exercise, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for parazorsin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and meditate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Aaron Peak. E. Okay, so there's a, I have a draft that I didn't send, apparently. Hi, Jess. That's weird. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh, wait, so who is Jesse, then? Oh, wait, Jarrett. Jarrett, Jarrett, do names on the... Jesse, the Gamor. Hey, Je oh, I should probably send this too, should I? Uh, since you probably forgot, here's me here reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. Well, we need to change that to today. I'm not coming in to work. This means you need to make sure you you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become workplace hazard. A workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Simon, what a dicky message. It's so harsh. Like, I read that, like, just sort of, meh. But it's like, oh, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I, I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you've actually... You need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're out on the shelves where people actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Simon. I'm not sending that. It's terrible. Uh, this probably should be... You might have forgotten. I have an appointment today and I'm sorry I'm not coming to work. I would have sent you a message yesterday, but I forgot. Terribly sorry about that. Next line. Also, could you please unpack the boxes behind the counter? They've been there a while. It's physically becoming a workplace hazard. A bit dickish, you know, because the person's getting on your nerves. Anyhow, good luck. Hope the day is not too stressful without me out. And I'll see you next time. We're not sending that. How do I get out of this without sending that terrible... Ugh! No, we're not saving an exit. We want to get out of this. Tab. Control. Right click, of course. Ooh, what's that? It's like a CPU bracket. Interesting. Well, we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go to the front door now. I wonder if that's going to come back to bite me because I didn't see that. I'm on a tram, apparently. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Hey, what's up, Mr. Smith? Tell Vulcan, man.
What a weird name. He's good. Oh, yep, that's probably him. Jesse. Simon, what's up? I want to check if you're coming to the store today. Uh, maybe later. I got the brain scan thing, remember? That's today. Knew you'd forget. I'm sorry. Just send me a mail next time. I need these things in writing. You know that. You know how we sell calendars? I'll just say sorry. You get one. I have one. I just never write anything <laughs> in it. Maybe I'll swing by later. Depends on it's how long the this scan thing takes. That's cool. I'll just get Chris to help me out. Anyway, we're getting a new minion today. Thought you might want to come by, say hi. Replacing Ashley already? Hmm. That was quick. No, it really wasn't. We've been understaffed for weeks, and you know it. I guess it's been a while. It really has. Like, a month already? Anyway, get the scan done, get good news from the doctor or whatever, come down to the store, say hi to the new guy, and lunch is on me. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate your support. Don't want to replace another minion. That's not funny. <laughs> it's a little funny. No. No, it's not. Bye, Jesse. See you later. That was that was see, that's a good thing we didn't send it, because that was a dickish message. Queen's Park. I wonder if you just don't get that scene at all if you uh Interesting things with the minions. I wonder if that's something secretive too. Um, but it's it's very interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we would have gotten that scene at all if we had sent that an email. Hello? What the frack? Dr. Munchie? Well, first off, lights. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Well, he did say that... It's not actually their place, is it? I guess they're moving in. Biometrics, having to head back out this door? I can't give up yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be locked. Okay, so we are most definitely in Canada if Toronto wasn't a big enough giveaway. Um, it's pretty cool that they actually took the time to make some of these <laughs> environments out here. I'm assuming most of the game's going to be underwater. What the? Okay, they got this over this to prevent the paint from getting on. They're painting the walls yellow. And they're apparently going around it in a counterclockwise fashion. Interesting. They must have just painted around that and then put the sheets back up. Very odd. Uh, what else? Well, let's open all these up just for the heck of it. Not like it actually hurts my optical nerve or anything. That's funny because it actually does. It's bright. It hurts. Huh. 